So like without like wasting uh, more time here, I'm just going to jump on SketchUp plugin here. So if you are uh, familiar with the SketchUp interface, that's how it looks like. I have those SketchUp tools. When you install Open Studio, you will see all those uh, Open Studio toolbars as well. You can see like you know you, there are so many functions: create space, create shading controls, so many of things. Uh, I don't think we have time to go through each and every of them, but like I'll try to cover most of them if possible. Okay. So uh, the first step that I mentioned was to run the script to bring space types in construction set wizard. Well, what is that? Uh, in eQuest, generally when you need to create an Azure compliance model, something like let's say Azure 90.1-2010 baseline model, most probably you will end up doing like you know or providing all the inputs manually. Uh, but in Open Studio, you can actually bring all those inputs directly in mo your model by just clicking some buttons. So how you do that? When I when I click on this new Open Studio model from Wizard on left hand side top. If I click on it, it first asks me, would you like to save your current Open Studio model? Since I don't have anything in my Open Studio model, I'm just going to click no. And then it will like bring a new user input window for me. What it asks me that, hey, what is your building type? Well, it has multiple options based on re DOE reference buildings. You can see like hospital, large hotels, mid-rise apartment, office, small, small hotel, strip mall. So what happens if I select like let's say office and then if I select template equal to H90.1-2010 and climate zone let's say um, so just one question for you guys what is climate zone for New York anyone any feedback just to know like you know if you guys are paying some attention here <laughs> anyone what is climate zone for New York City all right, so yeah, makes sense. Okay, like a uh, lot of people have different um, opinion here. Well, right one is like 4A, so I'm going to provide like 4A here. So uh, let me just, put, yeah. So climate zone 4A. So what I did here, I actually asked my system or my interface to bring the template or properties for an office building for template as 90.1-2010 compliance for climate zone 4A. What will it do now? It will bring the insulation properties, the envelope properties for an uh, for a 4A climate as per 90.1-2010. It will bring you the lighting power density and all the related properties based on the building type that you have selected, the template you have selected and the climate zone you have selected. Envelope is based on the climate zone while the property is something like internal gains, lighting power density, everything, they are related on the building type. For example, for office building, uh, the lighting power density is somewhere around 0.98 watt per square feet for S90.1-2010 compliance. It is not dependent on climate zone, okay? But still, we need to provide all these properties. If I click OK, So there is one question here from Akshay Gupta that hey, what the, what to select the, for the climate zone of India? Well, Akshay, if you Akshay, if you go to Asia 90.1 2010 uh, uh, booklet or like you know the compliance report, what do you call that? Um, the yeah manual. So you will see there is a chapter there where they tell you that hey, like these are the specific cities all over the world, and you can select that particular climate zone. I don't remember exactly the name of that chapter, but if you go through each and every page or at least the initial like, you know, block um, pages, you will understand like, you know, what, what I'm talking about here. Okay. So there's one more question here. So lighting is based on building type rather than a space by space. Uh, well, actually it is related to space by space and I'm going to explain you later, like in next phase on this, like you'll understand what I'm trying to talk about. So when I selected a building type as office, it brought me like 13 space types what like somebody asked me question here and one construction set based on the climate zone that I have selected. I'm going to click OK here and then it, uh, it tells me that hey like if you want to bring some more space types you can totally do that. Uh, like it allows you to create the mixed use building as well. Let me just show you real quick. Uh, sorry, where is that? So you can see if I click on this option like space type and construction set wizard, 
it allows me to bring more space types like you know i can like have one uh, mixed use building i can bring it for let's say maybe for mid rise apartment or something so they uh, they are like more additional features like for your use like you need not to worry about like bringing more additional properties or something you can just download them by one click okay so i'm going to show you how these space type properties look like i'm just going to click on this inspector tool and now you can see in my uh, in my open studio resources i have 13 space types for an office building the like associated space types can be something like break room closed office conferences corridor electric or mechanical room and so on so for example if i have a break room or let's say conference room in my project it has all the associated internal gain properties for a conference room based on sg 90.1 2010 i need not to go through each and every space the conference space and assign the properties i can just like you know like reduce my workload by using this method so very helpful compared to other software that's the number two benefit of using open studio guys it reduces your workload significantly I'll, I'll let you know like one secret of mine like you know when i was working on eQuest i used to spend almost like you know 50 to 100 hours to create a an ashtray baseline model like you know for a very small office building of maybe 50000 square feet but i'm not i'm not joking around here i can do it in like 20 to 30 hours like 20 30 hours reduced my workload by more than 50% so it's very significant all right and then i have one construction set based on the climate zone that i have selected my climate zone was 4a so it has like properties for roof wall windows everything based on the climate zone and the template that i have selected here all right i need not to create all those property uh, like what we used to do in eQuest. i just have all the installation properties directly available in my interface right now okay so before i move further uh, I, I have some more questions um, Wow, we have like significant amount of attendees looks like. Um, so uh, that's fine for now. Like uh, Bob, if you're there, please uh, like, you know, let me know if I need to take care of some of the questions here. All right. So now, no, no, I'm going to, I'm going to try to handle so, the questions that I can so you can keep presenting. Thank awesome. you. Thanks so much, Bob. So guys, I'm going to start on this uh, energy model. We are going to create an energy model from scratch to finish, like very small building. And I'll show you the capabilities or the strength of this tool over eQuest or any other tool. Like um, I, I, I have worked on Design Builder and IES as well, but like the amount of money that you pay for those software versus like free software like this Open Studio is incredible. This software can do whatever those other software can do. So please give it a try, and like you know, you'll be like very happy with this. In case you don't have any experience with this, okay? Okay. Like before I move further, like I want to explain the uh, uh, the, uh, the strength or the feature number three here. A lot of people like they really want to move to Open Studio. I'm sorry, to Energy Plus from eQuest. But the thing is, they are very scared of its like you know uh, like crappy interface. It has that Excel based Microsoft Excel based interface, which is not user friendly. You need to jump from one in uh, one screen to another screen, and you don't know where the connections are. You don't know how this property, the lighting power density, is connected to this space. But the good thing is Open Studio reduces that stress for you. It brings all the properties, inputs, out, outputs under one umbrella, under one interface, which is like very user friendly. So this is like powerful feature number three. All right. Now I'm going to explain you the most powerful feature, which I already talked about. How can you create the geometry in Sketcher? So if you are an, uh, if are you any Sketchup user, by the way, like, do you guys have any experience with the Sketchup? Like, you know, any feedback here? Like, you know, so that I'll, I'll see, like, you know, how many attendees in my list here know, like, what I'm talking about. Anyone? So I can see a lot of yes and no, like, well, majority of people are, like, you know, are a user of open studio of sketchup that's awesome so i can see one more question here is open studio uh, development funded by us government it is funded by department of energy uh nrel pnl uh, different federal labs are like doing a lot of research you can actually go at their website i can just show you like an you know, open studio dot uh, net uh, you can just go through this page here there's so much information documentation downloads uh 
in case you are a developer and you want to create your own interface like you can actually download all the um, apk documentations i can show you here unless i mean you, you can see it is everything is on github you can just download this here and you can bring or you can create your own uh, um, interface based on your like priorities what you want to do with your tool like do you have any additional features that you want to bring yes you can totally do that and that's the powerful feature number four okay very helpful please go through this it's like highly funded like you know you uh, department of energy is throwing a lot of money on its development and if you see like it has 107 releases like they actually release like you know the, their versions after every like two weeks or three weeks something like that so for example you can see this was released may 2 before that it was released in march 30 they're like there are so many of them like you know they are constantly working on this so it is highly updated compared to eQuest. i think that like last eQuest version was released maybe like a couple of years back but this tool open studio has all important features that you want like everything is brand new here okay looks like we have so many questions all right, so yeah, Tian, like, you know, thanks a lot for your feedback. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and do, I know what I'm doing. Thanks a lot for your feedback. So uh, I'm going to start from a very simple energy model here, like in a very simple office. So how I like to do it, like I like to click on the ground floor. And uh, like, you know, like if you are familiar with SketchUp tools, you just need to use your tools, like, you know, the way you use, do for an for an architecture model so for example if i like you know give some dimensions something like um, let's say 30 feet by 60 feet so let's say like you know i'm going to work on this floor plan i'm just going to create some like you know sections here like you know one corridor real quick i'm not looking at the dimensions just creating something real quick for you guys and uh, yeah so Let's assume that this is our building, like, you know, it has like a couple of open spaces, one conference room, maybe one restroom, one corridor, okay? And the same footprint will be followed, like, you know, will be followed up on like second floor as well. So now what can I do here? I can just like, you know, after once I'm done with creating my footprint, I can select this floor plan, uh, click on one of these script here, uh, like this one, create spaces of di from diagram. So before I click on this, I want to explain you the meaning of scripts or like Open Studio measures in Open Studio. So, uh, well, you know, if you don't know about this, Open Studio is built up on Ruby and C++. Unlike Equest, in Open Studio, you can run these tiny scripts or program to reduce your workload. For example, like in Equest, you can't just uh, create um, this flow plan, flow plan such easy like in such a easy manner and bring the three geometry out of it but in open studio you can totally do that i'm going to explain you more uh, features on of these open studio scripts but let's start with this the first one the create spaces from diagram i already have spaces uh, here i'm just going to click on this script and it will ask me that hey what is the flow height that you want let's say 12 feet and number of flows maybe two and hit okay All right, so you can see like I have 3D geometry here. Okay, well, it doesn't look very like proportionate, but it's all right for now. And the next thing that I want to do is maybe bring a window or bring the properties, the internal game properties. 